we have the scriptures which record over 2,000 years of history that display the character and the personality and the plans that our God and our Creator have for us. And He has said simply that His plans for us are for good, for a hope and for a future of prosperity and good health. But we have to know that. And it's not just knowledge that comes into our head and we hear it or we see it, but it's that knowledge that comes in and then we convert that knowledge into wisdom or a practical way that we apply that knowledge to our life. God is relational and He cares about who we are and how we are and His desire and the things that He has provided are for a relationship. And I say in what uh, many of these uh, lessons that we've taught, God wants to be in a living relationship with humanity. He doesn't want it to be some abstract religious thing that is uh, monitored or regulated by regulation and compliance. God wants to be in a living relationship with you and I. I don't know where you are. I don't know what you're doing right now. I don't know if you're having the time to, to pay attention or, or if the Holy Spirit, God, I believe, is speaking to you and you're being drawn. What I want you to do right now is to stop and say, Lord, forgive me for not knowing who you are and not understanding your love and your passion for me and not embracing a living relationship with you. And Lord, I desire more than anything else that I can come into that relationship no matter where I am, no matter where I go, no matter what I'm doing, that you are speaking to me and you are guiding me and directing me just like you said you wanted to in your word that I could not get away from it. Have you done that? Will you do that now? Will you embrace that? And will you accept the love of God into your life? And you will find that this is the joy unspeakable and full of joy and you can be content in this world, on this planet.